Hi, this is Diane Spencer with Western Computer, and we're going to spend a couple of minutes looking at another of our tips and techniques for D365 for finance and operations. Today we're going to look at workspaces, and workspaces are brand new for D365 and are very interesting. Before we delve into specifically how the workspaces work, I'd like to stay on the screen for just a couple of minutes so that you can take a look at the breadth of workspaces that are available. These workspaces are available out of the box. They can be configured so that they can be added to. You can have new workspaces, that sort of thing. We also have, I'll just scroll down a little bit to give you a look at the bottom half of the list. As you can see, there is a workspace for practically every function, every user that you have in your organization. The other thing I wanted to mention is that any of the workspaces can be added to your favorites just by clicking on the star. And then they're available under your favorites the same way that you've always been able to add module functionality to your favorites. So let's take a quick look at the vendor invoice workspace. And this is representative of all of the workspaces. So you have tiles that are tasks or functions, and the workspaces were designed for a particular role or a particular function within your business. And so this would be for the people in your organization who are working with vendor invoices and, and to some degree vendor payments. So you can see from here, without having to go to a lot of different places within the accounts payable menu, your users can just basically spend all day working in one place and everything that they need and all the functions that they need to do their job are here. You have the ability to do things like drill down and look at open journals, look at journals that are assigned to me, maybe look at vendors who are on hold, and then the ability to look at like open purchase orders, pending vendor invoices if we have those. We also have links off to the right, and those are available on all of the workspaces. There's one other workspace that I wanted to spend a couple minutes on, and that is the customer payments workspace. Again, this is designed for the people in your organization who are working with customer payments. And all of the functions, all of the information, all of the reports, all of the functionality that they need to do their job are right here and they don't need to move around a couple different menus and a couple different functions within D365. The other thing I would just mention as we close the conversation about workspaces is that all of the security that you set up in D365 applies to the workspaces. So if someone has access to this workspace, but they don't have the ability maybe to record customer deposits, so they don't have the ability to drill down to which customers on hold, then they would not have the ability to do that from this workspace also. Thank you.